A big hello to all the fitness enthusiasts out there. Welcome to our channel, your go-to destination for all things fitness. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe for more invigorating content. Today, we're tackling a 30-minute leg workout. Why focus on legs? Well, strong legs are the foundation of a balanced physique and they're key for overall strength and endurance. So, are you ready to sculpt those legs? Let's dive right in. Kickstarting our leg workout with the Dumbbell Goblet Squat. This exercise is a fantastic way to engage your lower body, particularly your quadriceps, glutes, and hamstrings while also working your core. So, let's break it down. Begin by standing tall with your feet shoulder width apart. Hold a dumbbell vertically by one end, cupping the top part of the weight with both hands. This is your starting position. It's important to keep your chest up and your back straight. Imagine there's a string pulling you upwards from the crown of your head. Now, keeping your weight in your heels, Push your hips back and bend your knees to lower your body into a squat. A good way to think about it is as if you're about to sit on a chair. You'll want to go as deep as is comfortable for you, ideally until your thighs are parallel to the floor. Pause for a moment at the bottom, then push through your heels to stand back up, keeping the dumbbell at chest level. That's one rep completed. We recommend starting with three sets of 7 to 15 reps, depending on your fitness level. However, it's crucial to note that the number of reps isn't as important as maintaining the correct form throughout the exercise. If you find that your form is suffering, it's okay to reduce the number of reps or the weight of the dumbbell. It's much better to perform fewer reps correctly than to do more with poor form, as this can lead to injuries. Remember, fitness is a journey, not a destination. It's okay to start slow and gradually increase your reps as you become more comfortable with the exercise. One last tip. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale as you lower into the squat and exhale as you push back up. Proper breathing helps to keep your muscles oxygenated and can make the exercise feel easier. Remember, it's about quality, not quantity. Perfect your form before you increase your reps. Scene script. Next up, we have the Dumbbell Romanian Deadlift. This exercise is a fantastic way to really target your hamstrings, lower back, and glutes. But it's not just about the legs, it's also a great movement for overall body strength and conditioning. To begin with, you'll need a pair of dumbbells. Stand upright, holding the dumbbells in front of your thighs with your palms facing your body. This is your start position. Your feet should be hip width apart, your knees slightly bent and your back straight. Remember, posture is key in this exercise. Now here's where the magic happens, the actual deadlift. Lower the dumbbells by pushing your hips back while keeping your chest up and your shoulder blades pulled back. Imagine you're trying to close a car door with your hips. This is the hinge movement. As you lower the dumbbells, keep them close to your body. They should almost be grazing your legs. Lower until you feel a slight stretch in your hamstrings, but remember, don't round your back. If you're rounding your back, you've gone too far. Now it's time to reverse the motion. Push through your heels and use your hamstrings and glutes to pull your body back to the starting position. Squeeze those glutes at the top for a second to really maximize the burn. And that, my friends, is one rep. This isn't a race, so remember to keep your movements slow and controlled. The slower you go, the more you'll engage your muscles and the more benefits you'll reap from this exercise. We recommend doing three sets of 12 to 15 reps, but always listen to your body and adjust as needed. If you're new to this, you might want to start with lighter weights or even just your body weight. Remember, it's not about how heavy you lift, but how well you lift. Always prioritize form over weight. And that's the Dumbbell Romanian deadlift, folks. It's all about balance and control. Keep that core engaged. Let's step it up with dumbbell lunges. Next on our 30-minute leg workout, we're going to dive into the world of lunges. Now these aren't just your standard lunges. We're adding dumbbells into the mix to really fire up those leg muscles. Dumbbell lunges are a fantastic way to build strength, stability, and endurance in your lower body. They target your quads, hamstrings, glutes, and even your core. Yes, you heard it right, your core. Because lunges require balance, your core muscles are engaged throughout the exercise. To perform a dumbbell lunge, you'll need a pair of dumbbells. Choose a weight that challenges you, but still allows you to maintain proper form. Remember, it's not about how heavy you lift, but how well you lift. Begin by standing tall with a dumbbell in each hand, your arms fully extended at your sides. Step forward with one foot, lowering your body until your front knee is bent at a 90 degree angle and your back knee is almost touching the floor. Ensure your front knee is directly above your ankle, not pushed out too far. 
your other knee shouldn't touch the floor. Keep your chest up and your back straight as you lunge. No hunching, folks. Push back up to your starting position, driving through the heel of your front foot. That's one rep completed. Now repeat this on the other side. We recommend doing three sets of eight to 12 reps per side. Yes, you're going to feel the burn, but that's exactly what we want. Embrace it. That burn is your muscles working, growing stronger with each rep. And remember, balance is key in this exercise. So if you're finding it challenging, don't be disheartened. It's okay to take it slow and steady. Over time, as you continue to practice, your balance will improve. Feel the burn in those quads and hamstrings. That's when you know it's working. So keep pushing, keep lunging, and keep making the most of your workout. Up next, we're going to target those calf muscles. But for now, give yourself a pat on the back. You're doing great. Last but not least, we're finishing strong with calf raises. A classic move, calf raises are all about simplicity, but they pack a punch when it comes to strengthening and toning those lower leg muscles. Picture this, you're standing tall, feet hip width apart, your core engaged. It's just you and the force of gravity. Now, you're going to push through the balls of both feet to raise your body upward. Keep your abdominal muscles pulled in so that you move straight upward, not leaning forward or backward. At the peak of the movement, pause for a moment, then slowly lower yourself back to the ground. That's one rep, folks. Don't be fooled by how easy it sounds. This move requires balance and control, and it's going to make your calves work. Trust me. Common mistakes? Rushing the move, bouncing, or not fully extending. Take it slow. Make every raise count. Now you might be thinking, how many of these do I need to do? Well, I encourage you to perform two sets for as many reps as you can handle. Yes, you heard it right. Push your limits, but always listen to your body. If you feel a burn, that's good. If you feel pain, that's your body telling you to ease up. Remember, consistency is key. You might start with 10 reps, then move up to 15, then 20. It's not about how many you can do right off the bat, it's about progression and improvement. So don't be too hard on yourself if you can't do as many as you'd like on your first go. Calf raises are also a great move because you can do them anywhere, anytime. No fancy equipment, no gym membership, just you and your determination to get stronger, fitter, better. So there you have it, the humble calf raise. Simple, effective, and a killer finish to any leg workout. That's it, you've conquered the 30 minute leg workout. Keep pushing, keep improving. And there you have it, folks. We've powered through the goblet squats, Romanian deadlifts, lunges, and calf raises, each exercise targeting different muscles, building well-rounded leg strength. Make these workouts a part of your regular routine and you'll feel the difference. Remember, fitness isn't a one-time event, it's a journey. Consistency is key. Keep moving, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.